Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Let's talk about igloos. Uh, these plastic igloos, they come in uh, different shapes and sizes, but specifically I want to talk about these plastic ones. Big, small, the ones that have one entrance and no holes except for these little tiny holes here. Um, I'm done with these things. I think short term, in a pinch, for a few minutes, for a little while, these provide a sense of security for your piggies just like all little Heidi's do. But I don't like them anymore because piggies tend to sit in there for a long period of time and the air gets stale and they poop and pee in there and it just builds up into this funk. So I'm now using these uh, fiddlestick log tunnel rainbow tunnel thingies here. Um, I like them a lot better because you can bend them to be taller and narrower or wider and lower. Um, Pipsqueak is hiding under his right now. Because um, the thing is, they're going to poop and pee in their hidey. People sometimes will ask me, well, what about... Um, potty training your piggies. Well, you want to potty train your piggies, put a food bowl and put a pile of hay and uh, a hidey of some kind in one corner. And that's where most of their pooping and peeing is going to happen. And also if you put the water bottle nearby there, then the dripping, if there is any, it's all the wetness is going to be in one side. Um, that being said, there's a lot of uh, fumes from the pee and poop. Even if you're cleaning your cage once a week and you've got, I say, packed down, you know, a nice two, three inches of pine shavings, uh, you won't have a problem with smell in your room. But if a guinea pig is sitting in one of these things all day long, peeing and pooping, that air gets stale. It gets ripe. The ammonia fumes uh, start to build up in there. And I think that it can lead to respiratory infection uh, and and just uh, breathing issues in general. Um, as well as the lethargy of being in something that only has one entrance and exit. The tunnels are fun, they like to run through, but they're wide open on both sides. They provide a sense of security and you can put them in a corner uh, so they can be warm. They provide all the protection of a hidey house, except I think they don't have the drawbacks that these have. So these igloos, I'm done with them. I used to suggest, you know, people when they're getting them, because we have a bunch of these at the rescue and people just think they're a quick fix, but I'm just not going to recommend them anymore. We also sell these fiddlestick things and all things being equal, they're better. Um, I used to say cut a hole in the top. I like using Amazon boxes sometimes. I don't have any Amazon boxes right now currently, but I'll cut a big skylight out of that so I can pet them and it provides a lot of airflow too. But I really love these tunnels. They're cool. They're easy to, to move around and clean. Some piggies like to climb up on them. So that's it. Just wanted to say I'm done with these igloos. <laughs> They're out of here. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new because I've got a lot of facts. I've been getting uh, and advice. I've been getting a lot of messages lately from people who uh, these questions that they've been asking me um, could be answered in a video just by searching my channel or searching directly in YouTube search, adding Scotty's Animals and then say ringworm or respiratory infection or whatever the question bonding might be. Uh, try that. If you ask a question in comments, um, maybe someone else will be able to get to it before I can. So use the community as a resource. Guinea Links is a great one, uh, as well as all the other channels that I always mention. But there's plenty of uh, message boards. Reddit is also a great one for guinea pigs. So utilize those. Don't um, wait for me to get back to you, although I will and I try to in a timely fashion because I really appreciate your uh, interest, your support, your questions, and that's what I've been doing it for. I'm here to help you guys, educate you guys. That's why I volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. So check uh, Saskia's channel and check uh, all of our different social media. There's great places to ask questions. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you. Uh, see you next time.